In this video, we're going to learn how to write a C program to remove the space characters in a string. So if we have a string like this, car string is equal to a string with spaces in it. After running the program, all the spaces in the string should be removed. So the string should look like this afterwards. We'll actually create a function to help us solve this problem. Up here, we'll have void, remove spaces, and the function is going to accept a string as an argument. So we'll have here car star string. We'll also include the string.h library because the string.h library includes a function called strlen that's going to allow us to find the length of a string. We'll copy this, and then down here, we'll provide an implementation of this function. The first thing we'll do is find the length of the string. We'll have int length to declare a variable to store the length of the string, and we'll call the string length function strlen, and we'll pass it our string. The string length function is going to give us the length of the string, not including the special null terminator character that ends the string. Then we'll make a loop to go through the string one character at a time. We'll have here for int i is equal to zero, i is less than length, and i plus plus. So this loop is going to go through our string one character at a time. And what this loop is essentially going to do is create a copy of the string inside the string itself. We'll copy one character at a time from the string to the copy. But the copy of the string is not going to include these space characters. We'll have to have a separate counter variable to keep track of the number of characters in the string copy. So we'll have here int j is equal to zero. And j is going to keep track of the number of characters in the copy of the string that does not include these space characters. Then down here, we'll have if the string at the index i doesn't equal space. So if the character is not the space character, then we're going to copy this character into the string copy. We'll have here string at the index j is equal to string at the index i, and we'll increment j. So let's go through an example of how this code is going to work. Let's say that we have the string a space and then b and then space and then the null terminator character that ends the string. Each one of these characters is going to be at an index. So a would be at index zero, the space character would be at index one, b would be at index two, this space character would be at index three, and the null terminator would be at index four. The length of the string is going to be four because the string length function does not include the null terminator character. So we'll have a length of four. I is initially going to be here at index zero, and J is also going to be at index zero. If we go through the code one step at a time, we'll see what happens. So initially, we're checking to see if the string at the index I doesn't equal space. That character does not equal space. As a result, we're going to copy the character here at the index i into the string at the index j. So a will be copied right here and it changes nothing. And we'll increment j. Then in the next loop iteration, i is also going to be incremented. So i will now be here. So then the next time the loop body runs, we'll check to see if the string at the index i doesn't equal the space character. This time, that's not true. The string at the index i does equal the space character. So this is not going to happen. We're not going to increment j, and we're not going to copy this character into the string copy. All we'll do is increment i by one. So i is going to be incremented by one to here. Now this time when the loop body runs, we'll check to see if the string at the index i doesn't equal the space character. And this time it doesn't. b does not equal space. So we'll copy the character in the string at the index i into the string at the index j. So we'll copy b here. Then we'll increment j. 
and j will now be here. i is again going to be incremented, and i is now going to be here. Now when the loop body runs again, we'll see that this is not true. The string at the index i does equal the space character. So this code here is not going to run. We'll increment i by one, and i will now be four. Because i is four, i is no longer less than the length four. So the loop is going to stop. So the original string was a space b space. So a copy of the string with these space characters removed would just be a b. And that's exactly what we have here in the indexes zero to j minus one. The last thing we need to do is put the null terminator character at the index j to complete the string. So we'll do that. Well, if your string at the index j is equal to the null terminator character to end the string. And that will finish it. So we can now test our function out. Up here in main, we'll call the function. And we'll put the string before and after. We'll have here printf and before. We'll have a couple new lines and a single quote character, percent s to output the string and a single quote, and then a couple new lines and we'll output the string. Then we'll call the function, remove spaces, and we'll pass it the string. Then we'll output the string after. We'll have printf after a couple new lines, and then a single quote, percent s to output the string, and a single quote, and a couple new lines, and then string to output the string. And we'll try this out. We'll save, compile, and run the program. And we get the string before, with these base characters in it, and we get the string here with these base characters removed. So our function is working. Now one thing we might want to do is remove all the white space characters in the string. So for example, we could have a tab character in the string, and we could have a new line character in the string. We could remove these characters using the same logic. There's actually a function in the C-type library that allows us to detect if a character is a white space character. We'll use that function. We'll include the C-type library, and then down here in our function, we'll change this one line. We'll say here, if not is space, when pass the character in the string at the index i, then copy the character into the new copy of the string. And the idea here is pretty much the same as before. Is space is going to return true if the character is passed as an argument is a white space character. So that includes space, but also new line and tab. So if the character is not a white space character, then we're going to copy that character into the new copy of the string. Otherwise, we're going to leave it out. We could try this out. We'll save, compile, and run the program. And we can see this string has a tab character and a new line character, but those characters have been removed from the string by a modified function. So this is how we can remove the space characters from a string using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.